want to say Kala Yahabashim Al Shai, double homage to the apostle elders, and salutations to you, Akiyam, out there pushing this truth. All right, I want to get into this quick lesson on uh, chariots, you know, because they've been popping up everywhere lately, and uh, the spirit's been heavy on these chariots. So, you know, I just, <clears throat> the spirit jumped on me to do just a little quick lesson on these chariots. And uh, yesterday I was watching, I was, you know, searching through YouTube and uh, I came across this, this one video clip, which is crazy. It was out, it was filmed out there in, uh, what was it, uh, Colombia. And the city was called uh, Cartagena, Cartagena, Colombia. And I, when I seen this video, I was like, Whoa, that's how the Lord coming, man. But even bigger, even bigger. Now this chariot that I've seen, they said it was like one uh, kilometer. You know, uh, that's about, I'm thinking that's about a mile long, <clears throat> or close to it, you know. But this thing was huge, man. This thing is, this, this chariot is fucking huge. And uh, I just, you know, wanted to bring out a couple of scriptures on it and get straight to the video, you know, because uh, this video is like, you know, when you look at it, it's like, okay, man, that's, that's, that shit dope to me, you know, it's dope because, you know, the Lord's going to come in an even bigger one that looks just like it, man. He, see, Esau can't figure, out, figure it out, like, he can't figure it out, like, why is we seeing all these chariots, which he called UFOs, unidentified flying objects, which they are identified, but they only identify to, the, to Esau, the higher-ups that know, and of course, the man, the man that's pushing his work, his work, which is the elect, the 144, 144,000, you know? So, uh, you know, just want to get straight to it. <clears throat> the first scripture I want to get is uh, Zechariah 5 and 1. And, it's, and it reads, Then I turned and looked and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. You know, because that's how they be coming. They fly and they come like in the shape of a, a roll, man. You know, a disc. You know, you see it, it's like a, a wheel within a wheel, like uh, Ezekiel described, you know? It says, and he said unto me, you know, Yahweh Shah, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. So that's a... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a, a big chariot, man, you know? Now, Esau can't give you a exact measure on how much a cubit is, but in the ancient world, I'm pretty sure a cubit was, uh, was uh, pretty, pretty, pretty big, man, you know? Um, it says, uh, <clears throat> Verse three, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. See, that's going to be a curse unto Esau, man. And to these, uh, these two thirds, man, these other nations, to everybody that ain't pushing his word, they ain't of the elect, basically, you know, that's the curse, you know, because this is the place where uh, you serve judgment, man. And the ultimate judgment going to come when those missiles and those chariots zap your ass to potter, all right? It says, then said he unto me, this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole, whole earth. For everyone that stealeth shall be cut off as on the side according to it. So Esau, you big thief, you're going to be zapped to potter, man. All right? It says, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off as on that side according to it. So Esau, you got it coming, man. You got it coming. Those chariots is coming. We Brothers been seeing them. You know, apostles been doing shows on it. You know, I've been 
<clears throat> uploading videos on chariots. You know, Esau is a goddamn devil because I've been trying to upload this video for over two years. It's been on and it's been off. He can been complaining about the music that I'm using. You know, which is which is some bullshit because you got you got motherfuckers out there that's using the same type of music for vines and shit, man. Or some dumb video that they doing at their house where they dancing stupid or doing some stupid shit. But here it is, I'm bringing up the truth, some edifying, and I can't use it, man. You know? That's because you know that's your downfall, man. You goddamn devil. But hey, hey man, do what you do, man. Hey, the Lord is the Lord, Yahabashim Shai, man. He's gonna send Yah Yahweh's gonna send his son, Yahweh Shai, and he's gonna come fucking destroy you, man. He's gonna come zap your ass to fucking powder, man. Dehydrate your, dehydrate your ass in an instant, man. All right? So it's coming, Esau, and there's nothing you could do about it. You could take down how many videos you want to take down, all right? But your destruction is coming. Your curse is coming, man. All right? You piece of shit. All right? It says, uh, verse 4, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts. So the Lord going to bring it, man. He's going to bring it, man. All right? He's going to bring it. When he come, man, he's going to take this fucking kingdom, man. All right? He's going to take it, man, because it's his, man. You just, like, burn it. All right? You just burn it, man. That's it. That's all you're doing, man. You know? And by you, and when you, and by you borrowing it, man, you done fucked it all off, man. But guess what? He's going to beautify it again, man. Just like it once was, man, in the garden, man. All right? Just, just like that, man. It's going to be beautified once more, man. Because the earth is beautiful, man. Even in this weak state, man. It's beautiful, man. But you got this damn red-faced devil who's fucking it over, man. But that's all right. Your time is short. It says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief. It's going to enter into America, you goddamn devil. All right? It's going to come, man, in all glory, man. All glory. Every eye shall see it. All right? And you're going to be terrified, you damn devil. But guess what? The Lord's going to put that. He's going to harden your heart to fight, man. Even though you don't want to, you're going to fight, man. And they're going to just, you ain't going to get not one chariot. You ain't going to knock one chariot down, man. Not even a scratch. They're going to zap your ass for precision uh, accuracy, man. They're going to be zipping past, getting big, uh, getting little, going through your ass. You know what I'm saying? All type of shit, man. They're going to be zipping past your ass like you just... You're going to be looking like a bobblehead up in them jets, man. You ain't going to know what to do. You're going to be thinking about that movie, Independence Day, man. There is no happy ending, man. There is no happy ending. You goddamn devils. You like to put that in your movies, that it's a happy ending, when it ain't no happy ending, buddy. Your time is done, man. You done, man. All right? There is no... It's like basically no war, man, because... They're going to be destroying you, man. Ain't going to be no challenge. It's going to be easy work, man. Easy work, all right? Verse 4, it says, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, uh, Lord of hosts, and, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's the Lord of armies, man. So he's coming to bring war, man. All right? He's coming to bring war to you, man. Straight up. It says, uh, I will bring it forth, saith the Lord of hosts, and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that sweareth falsely by my name. All right? You disrespectful piece of shit. All right? Your time is it's done, man. Stick a fork in. 
He done. You done. It says, and it shall remain in the midst of his house. Woo. Man. So when that chariot come, man, that chariot's going to be right there smack in the middle of your shit. All right? It's going to be right there smack in the middle of this defiled-ass place, man. And every eye going to see it, man. Every eye going to see it, all right? You're going to have that big chariot. You're going to have the little chariot zipping past, man. You know? Like they tried to do on Independence Day. But that was a watered-down-ass version of it, man. All right? It says, and it shall remain in the midst of this house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and stones thereof. So, man, you're going to be getting zapped to powder, man. All right? Let's see you bob and weave on that. You like to show how proud you is, man. You like to show you how, how good your weapons is and, and stuff like that, man. Let's see how good they is in that day, man. See, you got Esau making lasers and shit. You got little low-level ass Edomites making lasers in their in they garage and shit, man. You know? How much more these damn devils that got the money and technology to make these lasers. See, they making these lasers thinking they gonna do something, but you ain't gonna do nothing, man, all right? It's gonna be like throwing a bubble at steel, man. It ain't gonna do nothing, man, nothing. Or throwing a bubble and straight into the fire, man. You gonna get zapped, man. Not, not all of you gonna be uh, destroyed, cause we the, the rest that be alive, man. We gonna take your ass up and put your ass in chains, man. All right, you going into fucking bondage, man. You going into hardcore slavery, and we gonna have fun with you, damn devils, man. We gonna have, we gonna be playing games with your motherfucking ass, man. All right, you weak pieces of shit, man. Your technology is bullshit. The Lord gave you that. All right? You think you're gonna you think you're gonna defeat the Lord and He gave it to you? He gave it to you. He just turned all your shit off at one time if you wanted to. But guess what? He gonna want he wanna play with you, man. He wanna play with you, man. Alright? It's like having a fly in a goddamn jar, man. Poke some holes in there and just pour some acid in that shit, man. He just gonna play with you, man. You dumbass devils, man. Oh, dummies. The next scripture I'm going to get for you damn dummies, you red-faced, stinky bastards, is uh, 2 Ezra 13 and 3. All right? Let's get it. It's, uh, it reads, and, and I... And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong. It's so like it. And 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 I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. What's the thousands of heaven? Those are those chariots, man. That's coming to uh, zap your ass to powder, man. That's your curse, man. All right. And when he turned his conscience, countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. So all you motherfuckers gonna be scared, man. Pissing and shitting on yourself, man. Like a little baby without no diaper on, man. All right? Just shitting on yourself like a little retarded motherfucker. All right? Because you seeing all these chariots, you seeing your death, man. The walking dead, man. You done, man. You done. You done, all right? You done. And that's why you taking all these videos, trying to take these videos down, man. Because you, nobody like to be reminded how they gonna die or be reminded their destruction, their downfall, man. That's you, you goddamn devil. Man, I can't wait, man. I can't wait. Man, it's going to be a beautiful thing, man, putting your ass in chains, man. All right? 
just killing you at will whenever I want to, whenever the whenever we want to, man. Verse four, and whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burnt that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when it filleth the fire. All right, so zap, 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 world of worlds, man. All right, powder. I saw you gonna smell powder, stinky ass, ass powder. That's gonna be you. Stinky ass powder. All right. You know that song, Dust in the Wind? Dust in the Wind, man. I'm going to hear that. I'm going to hear that, that song as the Lord zapping your ass to powder, man. Oh, it's going to be Dust in the Wind, man. Uh, verse 5. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men. He saw a new other nations. Um, out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So you're going to have all nations trying to come together, just like the movie Independence Day, from the four winds all across the world, trying to come together together. Because a lot of you going to be thinking it's aliens, man. Because you ain't telling the people that the Lord is coming back with, with uh, chariots and his angels, man. All right? So you keeping your own people in the darkness, in the dark, man. Hey, the Lord is coming back, man. He's coming back fierce and strong, man, with swiftness. All right? And he's coming back with thousands upon thousands of angels to zap your motherfucking ass to Potter, man, and to deliver his elect, all right? It says, let me read that again. And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the man, Yahweh Shai, that came out of the sea. So, you know, you're going to try to, you try, when he come down to the heavens, man, you're going to try to, you're going to try to uh, play hero, man, thinking you playing some video game, man. You know? Well, with this video game, man, you ain't got three men, man. You ain't got no cheat codes, none of that, man. You got one fucking life. And your one sorry ass life you're going to get zapped dehydrated that's going to be you man all right it says uh verse six but i beheld and lo he had graven himself a great mountain and flew up upon it so this was a vision that uh ezra saw man you know, that's how big the chariot looked to him. It was like he was looking for the mountain, like, to be gone, like, okay, what mountain, you know, is this? Like, nah, it wasn't a mountain. It was a chariot, man. A huge-ass chariot, man. Miles and upon miles, miles long, man. Something you can't imagine, all right? Verse 7. But I would have seen the region or place where, where out the hill was graven, and I could not. See, Ephesus was tripping like. If I would have seen something like that, I would back in that day, and then to see something in this time, like that, man, I'll be just like Ephesus, man, like, whoa, tripping out, you know? That was a hell of a vision, man. You gotta put yourself in that, in his shoes, like, you know? You gotta visualize this, man. Put yourself there, man. This is a hell of a vision. It's a hell of a vision just to see one little bitty chariot flying across the sky nowadays. Like, you just staring up in awe, like, God, man. You know? Just imagine seeing what Ezra saw, man. 
man, he saw you ain't ready, man. You would never be ready. You could be here a trillion years, man. And you still won't have the technology that the Lord got, man. You still won't be able to put one scratch on them chariots, all right? Take down nothing, man. You're going to be shooting yourself up there, man. You're going to be, missiles going to be, you're going to be hitting your damn self, man. Because you're going to be confused, man. Verse 8. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him, Yahweh Shai, were sore afraid. So you're going to be afraid, man. But you're going to. You're going to have that spirit on you to fight, all right? You're going to have that spirit on you to fight, but you're going to be doing the stinky leg at the same time, man, all right? It says, and yet durst fight. And lo, as he saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up, lifted up hand, nor held sword, nor any instrument of war. So you just gonna be getting zapped, man. You just gonna be getting zapped, man. You know, cause in the chariots, you become one with those chariots, man. It's whatever you think. You wanna go left, bust a left, man. You wanna bust a right, think it, bust a right. You wanna send out a laser beam, think that shit. And that laser beam gonna zap whoever you, Whoever you ever you see, because we're gonna have that vision, man. Like on Thor, where the, the Jake was holding the sword, the doorkeeper. We're gonna have that vision, man. We're gonna see miles upon miles. We're gonna see through shit, man. So we're gonna, there's nowhere you can hide, man. We're gonna zap your ass, man. All right. Verse 10. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire. You see that? Here comes the, the uh, laser beam out of the chariot. Condense fire, man. To dehydrate your red ass, man. All right? And all you're going to smell is ass dust. That's it. The smell of dust, man. The smell of your ass. And you fucking other nations and you two-thirds, man, that just love this fucking devil, all right? The Lord coming to destroy you too, man. You chicken and, and popcorn eating ass niggas, man. All right? You dumb ass two-thirds, man, that love this fucking devil, man. You're going to receive the same fucking judgment, man. He's going to get your ass too, man. Matter of fact, the Lord says, start at my sanctuary, man. But we're going to get your ass first, you damn nigglets. I can't stand you motherfuckers, man. Because you love this fucking devil so goddamn much. You can't even, you blind, man. You can't even see that's your fucking enemy, man. Well, you got it coming, man. You got it coming, man. Verse 10, but only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it had been a blast of fire and out of his lips a flaming breath. And out of his tongue, he cast out sparks and tempests. All right? So you're going to get lasered up, man. All right? Dehydrated. Verse 11, and they were all mixed together, the blast of fire, the flaming breath, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude which was prepared to fight. So the multitude, as Esau uh, and his angels, which is his allies, man, going back to Revelation, all right? Esau, them other nations, man, and you're going to have Jake up in there, too, thinking he fucking, man, the Lord is going to fuck you up, man. The Lord is going to really fuck you up, man. Especially the ones that's, that's fighting with this damn devil. Jake that's fighting with the enemy. Oh, man. 
man, you're going to be ashamed in the kingdom, man. So ashamed, man. I hated that we got to uh, bring your wicked ass back, man. I got to bring you, I got to help bring some of you crusty niggas back through my seat, man. You know, you wicked ass niggas. But you're going to be all right in the kingdom, you know. You're going to be in your right mind in the kingdom. You're just going to be ashamed, man, of what you, of what you uh, did on this side, man. How you were such a fucking, your best friend and, and hanging on the nut here of Esau, man. All right? It said, and fell with violence upon the multitude was prepared to fight and burnt them up, every one. So every one of you fucking dusty ass crackers gonna get burnt up. So that upon a sudden of an innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived, but only dust and smell of smoke. And when I saw this, I was afraid. Hell yeah, I'll be afraid too, man. All right, I'll be afraid too. All you gonna smell is uh, the, the uh, the uh, dust smoke, man. Dust. That's all you're going to smell. It's Esau's stinky ass in the dust form, man. That's all you're going to smell, man. All right? Hey, so pretty soon you're going to look up and you're going to see those chariots breaking through the heavens, man. Everybody, all right? Everybody going to see that. For you is your destruction, your curse, man. For us, it's salvation, all right? We're going to be happy as hell, man, to see that, man. We're going to be in tears, man, praying to the Lord that we delivered, man. Why you other fucking nations and you goddamn devils and you two-thirds, man, it's going to be your destruction, man. You're gonna be, it's going to be a, light, a, a laser show in the sky, man. It's going to see lasers moving, man. Like it's moving to a beat or something, man. After you see the lasers, you're going to see a poof of smoke. It's going to be you dumbass motherfuckers, man. Running like, like when you turn on the light, you see a goddamn bunch of roaches running, man. There's nowhere for you to go, man. There's nowhere for you to go. So you might as well just stand there and take the zap like a man, man. Take it. Take that shit, man. All right? And that's going to be your downfall, man. Now I'm about to get to this video, which was, uh, which was, uh, which was in Colombia. The city was Cartagena. And this was a huge-ass chariot, man. See, Esau like to call them UFOs, but it's not, it's, it's, it's identified, man. IFOs, identified flying objects, all right? Which the real name is chariots, man. Chariots of the Lord, man. And he's a man of war, man. He's coming to bring his army, man. The Lord, Yahweh Shah, is come, coming to take his kingdom, man. He's coming to take this shit, man. He gonna ask, he gonna take this shit. And he going to put the spirit on us to get busy, man. Jeremiah 16 and 16, all right? We're going to become hunters, and we're going to hunt you damn devils, man. He going to make us his battle axe and weapons of war, man. What does that mean? We're going to be busting through you motherfuckers like, like steel on a wet pepper bag, man. It ain't gonna be nothing you could do to stop us. It ain't gonna be nowhere you can hide, man. All right? Nowhere, man. And it's a million more scriptures on chariots that I could pull out right now on you goddamn devils, man. But I want to make this short and sweet and straight to the point. So we're gonna get straight to the video. You know what I'm saying? And Lord will, you Akiyam out there was edified with this. You know, I'm just doing the will of the Lord, man. I'm just, you know, doing my part, pushing out this truth, man. The best to my best of my ability. And Lord will, I'm doing it, you know, 
uh, okay, I'm doing an okay job. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and with that, I'm going to say, uh, call out Yaha Bashim Yam Shah, double honors to your apostle elders, and salutations to the real brothers out there pushing this truth. Now let's get straight to the video. In the afternoon of June 30th, 2016, the appearance of a massive object, allegedly a one kilometer wide flying saucer UFO was seen over the city of Cartagena, Colombia. Thousands of stunned residents witnessed the object, taking to social media to share images of the spectacular sight over the city. This video was captured by a resident identified as Christian David Ramos Martinez. It shows a glowing saucer-shaped cloud-like object hovering menacingly in the sky over the Colombian city. UFO hunters declared unanimously that the object was a giant cloud-cloaked UFO mothership. Cloud cloaking is allegedly a method used by alien visitors to conceal their presence from human observers. The alleged method relies on the ability of the alien spacecraft to simulate the appearance of atmospheric clouds. A few conspiracy theorists suggested it was a freak weather phenomenon, caused by the government's alleged secret HARP program, tinkering with the weather. Some UFO hunters insisted that the perfect disk shape, and the high edge of space altitude, proved it was not an ordinary cloud, but a cloud-cloaked alien UFO hovering over Earth. <laughs> 